What up? And welcome back to another episode of Gritty Knows Best, baby. That's right. That's right. That's right. Let me tell you something right now. As of the time of this recording, it is September 2nd. And last night was an absolutely horrible, horrendous night for a lot of people. No, no shit. No joking around. It was a very bad night for a lot of people in New York City, in Philly, in Jersey, and I think some other places, if I'm not mistaken. We're going to get into that because Hurricane Ida hit New York when I didn't know it was going to happen. I don't think a lot of people knew it was going to happen, and it devastated a lot of people in a lot of places. So we're going to be talking about that. We also have some drama on the horizon, which, I mean, when do we not? When do we know? We always got some drama for you that we're going to talk about at the top of the show. Some other little things we're going to discuss, so let's get into all that. But before we get into all that, let's introduce who we got with us tonight. Oh, 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 there they are. I, I hear them. The crows are descending upon my roof. I hear the, I hear the footsteps and the, and the wings. They're on the telephone poles. They're on the mailboxes because this guy is here. What? Some people, I, I didn't introduce you yet. Right. Some people may call him... <laughs> Momo Rogers, if you saw his Instagram post today, he's looking very one. much like Mo, like Mr. Rogers. So check that out with his sweater and his smiles looking great, changing his shoes. Some people call him attempt at murder Mo. Some people call him Crow Mo. Some people call him Edgar Allan Mo, but let's just call him Mo. What's up, guys? Um, the new name, I don't know how I feel about it yet, but uh, he, you did it to yourself? He just, he's just common. He had to say that one. Well, you go on his Instagram, Mo's Great Adventure, <laughs> at Mo's Great Adventure, and look at his latest post around this time. If I don't know when you're listening to this, but he's looking very like much like Mr. Rogers, and that's okay. If and you you're think looking I look very like wholesome. Mr. Rogers, just you're looking very out. wholesome. You don't okay. look like a guy that would murder somebody or that's, attempt to murder that's somebody. That's the perfect. I don't think any sociopath, psychopaths ever look like psychopaths. That's well, Charles thing. Manson did, but Wayne Gacy didn't. I guess uh, Ted Bundy didn't. Wait, wait. I don't think Charles Manson actually looked like a serial path. I think serial path, the killer. I think at that time he like matched that era of like style. That's like, true. He, and I think he was saying that when he went to prison, when he first got locked up for all that, the murders and stuff, that's when they didn't let him shave and they didn't let him cut his hair. So I think yeah. when he, at the time when he was doing all those murders and stuff or when he was orchestrating all that, he looked like a clean cut guy, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah. I was off on that. I was off on that. But yeah, I guess a lot of people, I mean, you're, you're supposed to be the killer next door. So I mean, you're not supposed to look. No. You don't want your neighbors to call the police. They might know no. now that you, because you're Chromo, they might, you might get calls now, but you don't have mm. any, that's all, that's all that stuff's in Brooklyn. You're good now. You mm -hmm. ain't in Brooklyn anymore. No, no. Nah. But you know in what? Brooklyn. You got some, you got some things you want to talk about. Listen, also, by the way, in Brooklyn, all the bodies are probably never going to be found because they okay. probably, the water well, just, just wiped them away. Yeah, yeah, because <laughs> Ida, like, ran through Brooklyn, so they might be washed up by now. They might be coming yeah, exactly. up. Exactly. They might be floating exactly. around. Who knows? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Look at Louis Louisiana. But before we get into Hurricane Ida and that whole situation, which is <laughs> awful, it's horrible, Crazy. let's talk about you. <sighs> Mo, right now, he has been, if you know, he's been hanging out with his partner. He has his lovely woman, Jasmine, Beautiful number woman. one. He's Beautiful been with woman. her for how long now? Uh, since April. So what? I don't know how to count anymore. It's like three April, months. May, June, July. Yeah. Oh, no, that's like four months. Yeah. About, so you've been with her for like four months. months. You're in love five. with her. Love her. You're in baby. love with your woman. You guys I'm, are partners, this and that. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, a all ghost... From lovers past has come to I don't in my opinion stir up some shit. Who knows what she came for, Thanks. right? But she's now she's hitting you up all of a sudden after blocking you. So why don't you tell us to those who are not caught up who this woman is and what she's doing back around? What's going on? All right. So for those, who, let's catch you up. So last year around May, I went down uh, to New York City. Um, in the to the Bronx, and I hung out with a friend that you know Gritty and the rest of the crew actually knows. Uh, we grew up with her, and uh, me and her hung out maybe one time at my crib, and uh, we smoked whatever, but nothing happened. You know, it was like back then I felt like something could have happened, but we didn't do anything. I was like a little bitch back in those days, like 
shit, I should tell them about the Kesey then, well, story. Well, then years <laughs> later, you ended yeah, up going yeah, yeah. over there. Um, so yeah, years later, May. last year, you know, went out there in May, and uh, we was, you know, we chilling. It was for her birthday. Uh, you know, I was simped out. Oh, I you want to talk out. about that? Yeah, might as well. At the, at the so point. you want to talk about how <laughs> before you, you want to talk about how before you even smashed this girl. Yeah. You bought her a couch. I bought her a couch. Oh my God. So I shipped out, guys. Yeah, this he's man, me. that so, has been a topic of discussion for months, for about a year now. That this, we were like, you did what? I so it was a birthday couch? gift. She moved into a new apartment. We was, we was cool. Like, it was nothing to me. You know what I'm saying? It's not nothing new. I've done this for friends, guys, girls. Like, this is not. Well, I didn't new. get, listen, I just moved in here. I didn't get no furniture. Yeah, I just got a new. Well, I just got a game chair now from my own. He, he had a whole big ass house. He could have taken shit from. He refused no, that to thing take was, that, that stuff. was destroyed. You just let me know that. <laughs> so, you know, so come basically hanging out with her. Got to the couch. It was a birthday gift. So I went out there. Didn't think anything would happen. I was just chilling. Mm-hmm. I wasn't planning on staying the whole mm-hmm. week, but it ended up being the whole pretty much more, longer than I respect. We was drinking. We was smoking. You know, like you know, I. First time I made a girl, well, actually it wasn't, but one of the few times I made a girl squirt. So that was one of like, the first squirters. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah. yeah. So, so it was like, yo, okay, okay. Like I'm being my real crazy self with this woman. And, um, but yeah, we was, we was sexually, we, we clicked, but, uh, oh, she yeah. was in a different place. She kind of violated, uh, I came home. She wanted, she didn't want a relationship. Like, but she wanted the attention and all that stuff like that. So she, oh. when I stopped giving her the attention, yeah, I remember this. Um, she kind of like came out sideways and came off a certain type of way. And I was like, yo, fuck it. So she violated. She was saying shit that she didn't need to say. So I was like, all right. She so was disrespecting you after, yep, after yep, yep, uh, yep. why? Because she wasn't getting enough attention? Yeah, you remember that? Like, basically, I was talking to her, and I, you know, she, she wanted to do her own thing. I was supposed to help out with that. But right. I had my own shit at the mm-hmm. same time so instead of her being like all right cool you doing you she kind of just like went at me sideways and not understanding and respecting like yo i got shit to do too like we both got a life so i'm gonna live mine you do yours but when we talk we talk okay but she, okay. you know so whatever she, she ain't like that, that. she ain't like that she was talking she reckless like she was taking reckless so i was like all right you already okay. showing that you don't give a fuck and you don't respect me so i i was like i right, bet so i'm like i stopped taking, i'm texting her she would text me like, oh, well, fuck you, blah, blah, blah. She came crazy. So I don't even remember the rest of the details. And then she blocked it you, right? Blocked me, yeah. That's the first she block. blocked me, the first block, right? Month and a half later, comes back, she unblocks. Uh-huh, hey. around July, something like that, last yep, July. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Mind hey, you, this is when going? I went to see Muhammad after Muhammad. Oh, around- Okay. Yeah. She's like, hey, how's it going? Blah, blah, mm-hmm. blah. You guys start talking. And then how does it get to the point where she blocked she you blocks again? again? So that around that point, we it was a quick, quick. And then the next day, like she texts me at night, right? Mm-hmm. It, and I'm doing my own thing. And then I wake up in the morning. I get a text saying, oh, well, fuck you. For and what? I'm like responding. Yeah. So I respond like, what? What are you talking about? And then this messages go block. You cannot send messages. Oh to wow! I was like, serious? Yeah. After you made a squirt, <laughs> right? All that work. I was in the couch. No five minute, in the couch, man. That Come on, no five minute stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, so. That was the whole story. So we, we, you know, I was, as y'all know. So how long ago did she block you the second time now? How long has it been? Because now she, does those, she unblocked you now. So it's a whole all year, of a sudden. technically. So it's been a year, passed. pretty much, since she, mm-hmm. uh, since she finally blocked you the last time. And mm-hmm. all of a sudden, yesterday, right? Yep. She unblocks you and mm-hmm. texts you, hey, how's it going? Hey, hey. Hey, what's up? Hey, you. Hey, you. Yeah. What do you mean, hey, hey you. you? Like, hey, you. you're acting like you ain't blocked me for a year? <laughs> yeah. Whatever, Serious? Right? Yep, crazy shit. So what happened? Now so well, now we're up to speed. This is two, this is yesterday. What do you say? This is yesterday. So I say, what's up? She's like, and then she, you know, she hits me with a, you know, I miss you. A few other things. Oh, but the most took a year. Is, I miss you. Took a year. Took a year. And um, I'm sitting there like in my head. 
I'm like, yo, this is crazy. Like the devil is really coming at me somehow because something must be something good is really in my life other other than my woman for this woman to just come up out of nowhere, right? Oh, you got your YouTube channel going now. All of a sudden, now she's trying to come back around. Do you actually think it is? You think she you think she knows that you're you're moving on up in the world now? Who she, knows? She, she, she Who knows, knows about Jay, She knows about Jasmine Number One. She doesn't know. Oh no, she you, you doesn't. You asked know. her. How do you know? How do you know she doesn't know? People talk. People do talk, but that she could didn't get back her to her up. easily. That could get back to her. Very I mean, she's, she easily. could just she could just be on Instagram. That's what I'm saying. I mean, you never know. You know, she could have saw your Instagram. Could have seen mine. Could have. I don't know. Is I don't even have her on IG though. I then yeah, that's the point. I don't have a. Either. So what? So what is your reaction and response to this? So my reaction is like curiosity, right? So I'm I'm thinking about like, yo, what does this woman want? And you know, she, you know, whatever. So she tells me about her baby that she just oh, had. Oh boy! You know, and I'll be saying? buying no diapers, Mo. You bought the couch. Uh, that's it. You're done. Don't buy a crate, uh, a cradle. Don't buy nothing. You know, my girl is gonna listen to this and she'd be like. I feel like she's gonna be cracking her knuckles at this part. Uh huh. I wish you would. Don't nigga. be going I'll on her registry. You. Both her and her sister. See, I will let her and her sister fuck me. Me, up ja- this. me and Jasmine are gonna check your history. Make sure you're not on her Amazon baby registry. Ah, fuck y'all both. Don't be buying no formula. <laughs> you're done. You're done. <laughs> what do you need formula for? Um. So what do so you, you say know, to her? You've been texting her still to this day, right? Yeah, so, I did. So I continue to text because I was curious. To know, like, okay, where she was gonna go, you know what what I'm saying? I talked to my, so we just basically talked about the baby, shit that happened in her personal family. Oh, so you're accepting her, her updates? Yeah, because I'm interested. I'm like, okay, okay. because I really want to see what it, you know, what it was. All right, okay. And then you know, she hit me up with the like, you know, I was thinking about, you know, blah 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 that time together, and then oh, time you made a squirt. Yep, yep, yep. So I was like, ha, 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 what's up? Yeah, yeah, I mean, uh-huh. those are the past. So then that's <laughs> when I went like, you know, and I was like, boom, she started talking when she, when she was done talking. I was like, oh, shit. And I um, just say, yeah, I'm going to bed. When was that? Last night. Oh, so you haven't talked to her since yesterday. I thought you were talking to her no, today. So I did talk to her again. So I, I was like, <clears throat> last night. And then... um. So you, you dodged know, the whole conversation about the last time y'all that fucked. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then today, Ooh. what happened? So you know, because she originally was like, she texted me. She's like, "Oh, can you uh, send me the application to the spot that gritty is?" Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna be she gonna be living with me? <laughs> no way! <laughs> no. Freaking way. She's going to be in my building? Yeah. Wow, I'm not going to do my laundry. I don't want to know nothing about that. <laughs> I'm not going to do laundry. That's going to be an awkward day in the elevator. Hey, <laughs> how's it going? Wow, you lost that baby weight real quick. You bounced back real quick. Wow, you look great. I mean, listen, I I just want to go on a record right now and say I got nothing against her. Never you did. Know. I never, never said did. nothing bad except... Why would I mean the only thing I have to say about this whole thing is why would you block him? Which we already know why she did because I mean we can assume you know you were you were really starting to do more work with the podcast. This is way back, so you didn't have a YouTube channel yet, but you were really no. starting to dig your heels in. Yep, and you already said that you kind of wanted some more, right? Mm-hmm. More more commitment. She mm-hmm. wasn't down with that at the end. She nah. said. So you were like, all right, well, then I'm not going to be giving you all my attention if you don't want to give me no commitment. You're just going to get this dick and that's it. Exactly. And she got mad you don't get she don't get the attention and then she blocked you. So we know why she blocked you, but I think that was very, that was just immature. That was just wild. Yeah, not not saying I'm mature right. because obviously you, you already heard what I did <laughs> like two episodes ago. So I'm not saying I'm yeah. mature. I'm just saying like that's the only thing I have against her is that she blocked you and said fuck you and all that stuff, especially all the, the disrespectful talk that I, don't, I wasn't even privy the disrespectful talk. I mean, I might have been, but at, right now I don't. I don't recall yeah. what she said. But there's yeah, no we, reason we to get. About there's it. no reason and to get disrespectful. I remember exactly what you said when I told you. You were like, "Yo," and this is what he said to me, guys. He was like, "Yo, yo, you know what this mean, right?" And I, I was denying at the time because I, yeah, for everybody that's been watching a long Uh-oh, time. What did watch. I say? I don't remember. I was right about something. You was right about this. I'm gonna get to it. 
but for those who know, long-time listeners, you know, I was depressed last year when we really started, so this really got me places. But what Gritty was saying to me was like, yo, you, you, you recognize that she doesn't, she likes you, likes you. She just has her own sh- mental shit. Going oh yeah, I was saying she probably has her own shit that she doesn't want to get into with. with and you she's like scared. That. So like, instead of just saying like, "I like you," I'm going to like keep my distance, but I want you because you still treat me better than everybody else. But and then you give me the things I need, but like you make me feel like a commitment, and that's the whole thing. And I remember you saying like, "Yo, she's just scared of commitments, and she probably. don't want to." Yeah, so I was like, all right, but I'm not. So, you know, keep it moving. Boom. So <laughs> yeah. she asked for the application to my building? Yeah. What did you do? You gave it to her, obviously. I gave it to her. Oh, but I'm not, I don't want to hear no. I'm not, I'm not answering the door. Yeah. No, yeah. I, I would probably would. I don't got, like I said, I don't got nothing against her. I'm not going to answer my door for anybody, but if she, uh, she, I probably would. Are you going to, if she comes up here, are you going to hang out with her? Are you going to see her? Oh, I mean that's the thing. <laughs> that's the tricky. That's question, the thing because right? you gave her the application. I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna say no and yes. I'm gonna say no. I would not hang out with her alone. I'm gonna say yes. I would hang out with her with like you guys. I don't think she wants to hang out with me, so that's fine. I highly doubt that. I she don't likes have, you though. I I do not have that woman's number. I don't have her on Instagram. We have no contact, so I would doubt. Yeah, we would be hanging out. Yeah, but that's also because, like... I highly doubt we're going to be doing anything together. No one, huh? She'd probably be like... I'm not even worried about it, bro, because if she came up here, it would be like... She's going to just be with another man anyway. Like, I it's not going to be a big can. deal. I mean, who knows what's going to happen, but I doubt we're going to have that much contact with her. Nah, nah. So, nah, what, nah, so nah, how, nah. where did it end? Really, to be honest with you, I gave the answers that she wanted because, like... Well, that's nice of you to still help her out. Like a, that's lot of, who I a am. lot of people probably I, wouldn't do that. They'd be just like, "Fuck off!" You, you know, block me for a year. This is just very who nice I am. of you. It's like, yeah, I don't and know if I would do it. I'm like, yo, your baby, like, like I rather like I don't, you know, what I'm saying maybe this is the education in me, but like in the nice person in me, but I'm like, I'm not gonna like punish you when you have a kid. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, very if, nice. It's a better, that's very nice. You know what I'm wow. saying? Like, if there's an opportunity for you to have a better life for you and your daughter, that's not New York City, because there's no way she's gonna survive. Alone city. in New York City. Yes, yeah, it's, it's tough. It's tough. As a single mother, there's no way. You have a better chance up here. All right. So, so is that where you guys left it? The application and the questions? Yeah. Um, yeah, that's the, actually that's exactly where we left it. Wow. She asked me I like some other question, but like about So like, she don't know you're with, with Jay. No, I was just about to tell her today. Well, and I'm gonna say, like, you know, busy. she you never you don't know what, what she might want because she's coming up here. And she already, before she even asked for that, she's talking about, oh, remember when, remember when we were fucking and stuff? So you never know. She might think, she might, might think when you come, when she comes up here, y'all gonna, it's gonna just be business as usual. Hell. It's a whole different mo now. You got a different crow. She, she doesn't even realize it. Like, I don't even care. Like, the way I spoke to her Uh -uh. on the phone was nowhere Uh -uh. compared to how I talked to her. I just like. You spoke to her on the phone? Yeah, like I, she called, like we, oh, what to talk about the, the building, and, and then she asked me the questions. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that's how. That, so you kept the business. You were like, this how business, it is. Yeah. That's how it is done. I, yo, bro, the whole time I was editing videos and doing mm, YouTube stuff. Look at that. So look at that. you know what I'm saying? So it was like, I don't even know how long she was on the phone for, but I was working the whole time. I was doing a thumbnail and shit, editing. So I was like, I don't really like I. I wow. heard her, but I didn't hear her. You know what I'm saying? That's right. You and handled I told it, my, was it. I told my girl everything. What did Jasmine say? But I didn't tell Jasmine a few stuff because I also wanted her to hear this stuff on the show because it's harder to tell your girl certain things. Oh, you're waiting, waiting for her to now. listen to the show? Yep, you're going to have to hear the show. Nah, well, you got to tell her. You, wait, you, wait, you, did, you, did, you didn't want to tell her that she, that she was bringing up the reminiscing of you fucking her? You didn't tell her that? No, I didn't tell her that. What else did you leave out? That's it. Oh. That's it. Uh oh, Jasmine's not gonna like that. Jasmine ain't gonna like that. Is that is that all? (sighs) So I don't remember because then, do you know what it was, bro? Like I was looking at my girl's face and like I was trying to be honest, but you ever looked at a woman's face knowing you trying to tell them exactly what's happening, but their face is like unreadable, unemotionable, and you're like, yo, I feel more weird. That you giving me. A she knows you smashed like, though. 
Yeah. Okay. So she just doesn't also, know that she yo, was. So when I told her yesterday, you know, she said, you know, my girl said, there's plenty to miss, which was a nice thing to say, right? She was saying that she, that she she's right for missing you. Yes. Okay. That, I mean, so that was pretty nice. I was like, that was clever. That was cute to me. I like that. But mm-hmm. like in my, my head, even today, like wanting to tell her everything, I was just like, it you should have just weird. told her that. I mean, what are you, are you, are you afraid that she's going to be like, well, I, why were you communicating with her after that? That's probably what she's going to say. That's probably what it, you know what it is? Cause mm-hmm. I, it shocked me. Like I kind of like, she's probably going to be like, weird. yeah, why were you, why would you hit it? Why would you so be talking already, to her the no, next so day? I already know why I continue talking. I'm just saying like, in her mind, saying, she's oh yeah, going to be oh, like, saying, oh, you're saying why were you, woman, why yeah. were you talking to her? After she brought that shit up, you should have just ghosted her or, or you should have dubbed that and that's it. There, there wouldn't have been this whole conversation about you going to move up to Utica and stuff. Mm. That's now, what she's that probably going to say. Though. That, was, that happened already though. That what? happened before everything else. You told me that she was reminiscing about that and then the yeah, next day. The Utica thing, like the information, all that conversation and stuff like that happened before that shit. So uh, I, I don't know. Said, we got to rewind it, but I, I could have swore that you no, no, said. No, I said what you said, but I'm saying that me sending the application was today. The conversation about the apartments and stuff was yesterday. Okay. So I already said like yesterday, I will send you the thing before okay. any of the extra shit said. So like for me, I was like, I also oh, you were talking about word. moving. So she talking about moving up here yesterday. Yeah. Then she started the whole fuck talk. Like and then yeah. you said, then I'm going like, to keep my word and give you the application. Yeah. Okay, so it's kind of in the middle. Yeah, so it was Well, right you never there, know what so Jasmine's going to think about this. I can't wait to hear it. So We'll find out on the next episode of Gritty <laughs> Nose Fest, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, we, got a, we got another saga on the, on the way. This is going to be great. Um, well, like, yo, I'll, listen, we... I'll probably be interviewing her when she's, when she's here. <laughs> She'll come upstairs. I'll interview her in my apartment. Yo, honestly, bro, like... It so was, was just, Mo the first like, man to make my, you score? I wanted to tell my girl so badly, but like her eyes, like as I was speaking about it, was. Well, like, you think she was gonna smack you? Nah, it was just felt like you know, like telling y'all shit and telling like usually like it's just so different. It's just a different energy. Like I felt no energy. Hey. I felt like she was just like. Well, you could have hit it, but now you said you told her to listen to the show. Yeah. All right. Well, anything. now she's gonna. You could have hit it in the show. She would have never known. Now you told nah, her to listen nah, to the show, so now she's going to find out. This is like some third grade stuff, like handing somebody a note. You might as well have just told her. <laughs> Man, I might as well have her. told her. I text her. No, now, now, she has to, now she has to hear it the way you want nah, her to nah, hear it. Nah, nah, now nah, she has to hear it the way you wanted to hear it, because nah, I want to know how. I want to see what she's going to say now that she heard it the way you wanted it to go down on some third grade <laughs> stuff. I can't, can't listen to you. Bad advice. This um, is one of those situations I can't listen to. I gave you advice before, and it before. worked, so I was right. <laughs> so... We will find out all about that on another episode. We'll see what's going on, but you're happy with Jasmine. I love my girl. You love your girl, and uh, maybe she'll, maybe maybe this girl will be my neighbor. We'll see. Maybe yeah. she'll be in the next door. Hopefully not. By, she the, time, a, by oh, the time we talk about this again, this shorty's going to know that I'm with somebody. All right. Let's move on, and let's talk about what I was talking about in the beginning of the show, the devastation and the horrible night that a lot of people had last night with Hurricane Ida. Man, let me tell you, we talked about Hurricane Ida on the show previous to this one, okay? But it was in Louisiana. I had no clue it was going to be hitting New York, Jersey, Philly, none of that. I was under the assumption that Hurricane Larry was coming for New York. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe it's going to come afterwards. I don't know. But that's the last one I saw was coming right, so I was like, "Okay, Hurricane Larry, I'll be, I'll get my popcorn and get ready for the, uh, for Hurricane the storm March. watch." Yep, storm watch. All of a sudden, yesterday, I'm playing video games, playing Left 4 Dead. I hear Justin's basement flooded, which is not his. Uh, sometimes shit goes on in Justin's basement all the time, so I'm like, "All right, whatever." Like, okay, the basement flooded, so what? So I hear that, and then my mom texts me, and she's like, "Are you up?" And I'm like, "Oh boy, that's not good. It's like 11 o'clock, something like that." Mm-hmm. And I'm like, what? I just said, what happened? My sister's apartment, also a basement, also a basement apartment, totally flooded. I mean, demolished. By the time my by the time my brother in law got there, my sister was thankfully out of there, right? Because then my brother in law had to come back into. He was like working in the city. 
He said driving home, it was like a fucking video game. Like it was water just all. I mean, thank God he wasn't submerged in water because this hurricane just went off on New York. I kn- it just came in the middle of the night, basically, right? Like, yeah. All of a sudden, my mom's texting me this stuff. Then Dre's texting me videos of the subways looking like the Titanic. Mm-hmm. This was no joke, and this shit came pow like out of nowhere. So now mm-hmm. I hear my sister's flooded. Then I text my friend because I know that she's working like far from her home. She says she's stuck in Brooklyn. She's trapped in Brooklyn. I'm like, oh my god. Now I'm watching all these videos of these cars totally submerged in water, and it's just awful, man. Like, and then we then we talked to Clay, and yep. Clay's walls were pissing. Like, just water was coming all out of his walls, and he eventually just said, "Fuck it, we're out of here." We, they, him and him and our other dude, our other boy Eddie, they left their house and they went upstairs. No, they went um to their friend's house upstairs. My sister had to go upstairs to her landlord because that place was demolished, and I didn't know to what extent until I talked to her just now. Apparently, what happened what? was. Apparently what happened was the, the hurricane came, whatever, the, the rain was coming down. It, it didn't immediately come in through the front door. That shit came in through the toilet and the tub. The sewer was backing up. Wow. So my sister looks at the toilet. She's like, what is that? And she sees on the bottom where like the little screws are and whatever, like the little bolts, the yeah. water's coming out. So she's like, oh, maybe those are flushable wipes from like this just backing up our toilet, whatever. And then my, my nephew's like, yo, the tub is doing it too. And then she looks in the, and then she starts noticing that the walls, it starts coming out of the walls and stuff. And she just grabs all the kids. She pulls the fucking door open and it's just like, shwoom, just a whole thing of water, just the whole wave flies in. Wait, from the, from, from the, the front door way? now, from the, from the front, front door, door, because the, because the, uh, because the, um, the drain is like totally clogged or whatever. Yeah. So her house was just demolished. It's very, very sad. It's awful. Oh, it's awful. Crap. I mean, this came out of freaking nowhere. Yo, I actually really feel it bad was for your sister. The only person that I heard knew about, well, two people, Dre's sister and Justin's mom. Now, so I told you a very devastating story about my sister. Yeah. You know, God, first of all, you know, God bless everybody in this situation right Seriously. now. Seriously. God bless everybody that, I mean, people are floating away like guys are getting found in their cars drowned it's no joke what yep no joke look at the pictures the, i'm telling you the subways were just demolished just tons of just yo this is crazy because with, this is worse than katrina just because katrina we knew right we knew like two three days before people like, prepared to get crazy there was no people. way to prepare for this this, you telling me this just came out of no freaking where well, for most I'm, I, you know, kind of should have known about a hurricane. I try to keep my eye on it, right? Dre's sister was telling him he's gonna, it's supposed to come down today, but nobody, I don't think, knew that this was even going to happen. The only person, again, this is another story because not only did it affect my sister and a few of our loved ones, it also affected our buddy Judd, the big proge, Justin, some fuckus. <laughs> and here's how. Of course this happened to Justin. So his mom tells him, Justin, make sure you clean the make sure you clean the drain today. There's gonna be a storm. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. So he goes downstairs and he goes to sleep. My man wakes up ankle deep in water. <gasps> My man wakes up ankle deep. Bro, submerging in water. That's what, So then, you know, he told me his basement flooded. And I'm thinking, because sometimes the stuff leaks from downstairs. Sometimes the drain is has leaves on it, which happened in this situation. But it's not yeah. like that. Like, I'm thinking, like, just water came in. Yeah. So I call him, and that's when I find out what happened. I'm like, yo, my sister's house is flooded, too. He's like, yeah, I was, I was flooded up to my ankles. And then you hear his mother in the background. Yeah, because he didn't clean the fucking drain, that moron, that <laughs> fool. You're an idiot. So it was way worse than, than I thought. That's when I found wow. out how bad it was, all because Justin didn't want to listen, which, when does, he, when does he listen to us? Never. When does he listen to us? Never. He doesn't listen to his mother, his mother. 
And mother. Or even listen to it. So she was going off. Oh my. I hope nothing got crazy damage for him. Well, um, Pastor was saying, I was telling Pastor about this. He was like, well, I have one very, very important question, and that's what happened to the Funko Pops? <laughs> so since the water was ankle deep, all the Funko Pops survived. It was fine. Oh. Thank God. But then that made us think like, okay, what if something bad did happen? Does he have a plan, an evacuation plan for the pops? And knowing <sighs> Justin, he does not have that much forethought to think of that. So that means no. He has <laughs> oh, no, shit. there's no planning to what's going to happen with all those pops. I mean, if I was him, I don't know. I would probably just keep my eye or keep like a bunch of the most valuable pops to me closer to the door and just be ready to dump them in something and leave. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's the only thing I could think of besides yeah. hiding them, putting them away. He, he at least needs like, because they have like waterproof containers and shit like that. He needs to just like has I have don't one know. Like near, near his stairs or somewhere. All I know is he's he's freaking out because his Xbox power cord was, was drenched in water. It was swimming. Ooh. Yep. So my man ain't going to be on no Madden. Ooh, no Madden for Big Judd. Why he has not wanted to be on the show? He must be tight. He's tight. pissed. He don't want. To, I told him you want to come on the show and talk about it. No, you tell it. You talk about it. <laughs> and he's not even. He didn't even get it. The worst. That's the funniest part. He just his place is fine. His yeah. it, it's it's all clear. It was clear in like twenty minutes. Probably they got they <laughs> just cleaned everything up. His mom yelled at him, and that was it. So Justin probably, Justin and I think our boy Clay probably got it the easiest out of a lot of people. But they yeah. said about 12 people in basement's apartment, in basement apartments died. Wow. Because they didn't wake up. And, I'm, and that's what I told Justin too. I'm like, you know, you're lucky you woke up. You should have, you know, done the drain, whatever. He's like, well, when I got up, it wasn't that bad. I'm like, yeah, because you woke up in time. If you would have woke up two hours later, you'd have been floating. But how did people die? Like, I feel like you can feel water in your Bro, sleep. No, you might think you're dreaming. People, uh, people that have your sleepers, I don't know. You could drown. That's true. That's true. Listen, that's true. if you would have woke up two hours later, Justin would have been floating around. That dog would have been done. <laughs> you got to listen, Judd. You got to listen. Listen to your mother. Blue would have been bad news. It's fine. It's fine. It's, I woke up in time. It wasn't that bad. I was like, yeah, it wasn't that bad because you woke up in time by accident. He was planning on going to bed for the rest of the night. He was trying to go to sleep. He wasn't trying to take a nap. He was like, I was trying to sleep all night. I was like, yeah, you'd have been sleeping all right. You'd been sleeping forever. I'm glad we are in like good locations. Bruh, if a flucking, if a flucking, if a fucking flood would have got him and not progeria, I'd have been so mad. <laughs> like out of all the things. The one yeah. thing that's supposed to do it, it d hasn't done it, thank God. And you get taken out by a flood because you're too lazy to clean the drain. I would have been asleep. tight too. Huh? I would have been tight too. Yeah. I would have been mad as fuck. I would have been just like, do over right now. <laughs> like, I would have prayed for a do over. I mean, I'm glad he woke up in time. In all seriousness, glad he woke up in time because that could have been pretty freaking bad. I, Everybody was I, asleep. I should, I should have contacted my family. I was going to say, yeah, I did a lot of contacting today. Too. I did a lot of contacting last night. I was all nervous and wound up about everybody. I was talking to my friend. She was in Brooklyn. I was talking to Clay. He was in his friend's house. Everybody was all moved all over the place. Mm -hmm. Nobody was in their freaking house. Yeah. My friend ended up having to get a cab at, at 5 a.m. because she was in her coworker's house. So she had to get a cab. Thank God she got a cab. I don't even know how. She got a lift. So she got a mm -hmm. lift at 5 a.m. for 130 beans. Every, I mean, I would have paid that. I would have paid that because who knows when the subways are going back up. The two line is up right now, as of right now, but it's only doing like five stops above ground. It ain't going nowhere. So wow. I don't know how long the trains are going to be down. Uh, I know the buses are up in a lot of places and the line looked like Black Friday, like worse than Black Friday. It was the insane. Buses? Yeah, to get on the bus. Wow. Insane. You know, if you're in the back of that line, it's going to be like 40 buses having to come before your ass That's gets picked crazy, up. Man. Yeah, man. It's devastating. It's horrible. I can't believe it. Out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. But yeah, 12 people so far in basement apartments. I'm not sure about any other statistics about people dying, but I know for a fact that people have been found in their cars and people are missing. 
No sharks this time. I mean, there's images of of police cars, like the like the big trucks, not the not the big paddy wagons, but like the vans or whatever. Yeah. And yeah. there, the police guy. I saw one image where the police guy was just sitting on top of the car because the water was so high. He just got on the roof. It's crazy. Damn. And the only other, the only guy I would have wanted to be in this situation is the one guy that people were posting where he was in front of, I think, his apartment building laying on a floaty on like a reclining floaty with a hookah. I think that was in the Bronx. So my man was chilling. My man was good. He was laid back. He had the hookah. He was in like this big beach chair floaty. And he was just like, hey, man, we out here. He just merrily down the stream, baby. That's it. He didn't give a fuck. So shout out to that guy. Yo. And shout out to everybody who's been devastated, man. Jersey, um, Philly. I didn't even know Philly got it until today. Philly got okay. smashed. Absolutely smashed. Damn, man. Mm-hmm. So I didn't know that. The, I didn't one of the, know Jersey and Philly got hit like that. One of the only things I thought too, after like the shock, I was like, "Thank God I'm a 16er. Thank God I'm on the 16th floor, because right. I mean that's gonna have to be a mass. That's gonna be some biblical flood to get up here." <laughs> and I was over here complaining. I, I don't want to be this high. I'm happy. I'm happy as a clam now. I was so grateful for my porch. I kissed it last night. <laughs> it's like thank God I'm up this high. Yeah, like yeah, where you live, bro, is a great spot. Like, like yeah, like because we have floods up here. Yeah, there was a flood. Like we had a flood warning two, like three weeks ago, four weeks. It was ago? two weeks ago, but that's not even the worst. We've had worse than that. And I was living in that building when we had one of the worst. And um, due to weight, due to the how like the area where you're at right now is is it's it's not high. I, well, it's not high on the bottom floor, but like, you know, it gets pretty crazy over there. Right. But like, you're at the top floor, you know, you're at I'm the at top. I'm at the second floor, so to top. Great. Yeah. Second, you second best. So that's good. And in my area, when it rains really hard like that, I just have to close my windows or it just comes into my apartment. Like, I've woken up and like, if it rains hard enough, it'll be on my floor. But other wow. than that, other than that, we good. I'm good. We good. So hopefully, if you're, I'm, I'm in a nice incline. You know what I'm saying. So I'm, mm-hmm. I'm yeah. I was thinking about you in this situation too. I was like, you're higher, so you're not gonna really get hit like that nope. if that were to happen here. That that yo, bro. And then the other I, thing that got me is like, I'm not a big, I'm not big on the weather, but like I, so I heard about all this rain, and I look outside, and I'm like, what are you talking about? Because I thought we got what they got. That's what I thought too. But Pastor got it. Pastor a lot of rain. Got he got a lot of rain, not floods. He just got okay. a lot of rain. Yeah. So I mean, thank God we didn't get it. And again, thank God everybody's okay. All my friend, all our friends are okay. Our mutual friends, all my friends are okay. All my family's okay. Thank the Lord. But if it made me think about anything besides kissing my kissing my patio and thanking God and especially my mother that I was on the 16th floor, I mean, again, I will have to push. I will be pushing people out of my way if there's a fire. Do not think that you will not get tumbled down 16 flights of stairs if I gotta get out of here. I'm going. You're done. You better move quick. I'm pushing you down. Yo, age, d- d- age ain't nothing but a number. You're tumbling down, which I'm coming from the 16th floor. Mm-hmm. But the other thing it made me think about was, man, like I'm, I always kind of have that brain to like be prepared for, especially because I always watch Stormwatch to be prepared for this stuff. But it made me like just a little more paranoid. Only because this one came like out of nowhere for a lot of people. I'm sure some people knew, but just the nature of me sitting there playing games and then all of a sudden all hell breaking loose with all of my loved ones, that made me think about it like a little harder. Because, you know, I'm big on storing food, you know, having food reserves. Uh, But now as soon as I saw that, this has nothing to do with a flood, but I forgot that I meant to buy a solar powered charger for my devices. So I bought that like when this started happening because I'm like, man, like I really got to I really got to stay disciplined on my on my like disaster preparedness. Like I don't even have like water, water um, purification stuff. Um, But if you are a young, I don't know how young our listeners are. I know we have a lot of like older ones, but you got to be prepared for shit like this. This is shit I didn't think about when I was like, you know, really young. Okay, but you got to be prepared. You got to have cash on hand. Because when, when Corona went down, I was all right. 
because I already was on that time. I already had food laying around. I already had a lot of canned food, a lot of shit in boxes. I had cash on hand. I had my bike. I mean, I had shit ready to go. So if you, I don't know how young you are or even how old you are if you're not thinking about it. Please do yourself a favor and start saving food. Like, all honesty. So if you go to the fucking gas station, like, I, like I'll go to the gas station and just get an extra cup of noodle, throw it in the bin. Get your favorite type of food in a can mm-hmm. and save a lot of it. Mo mm-hmm. seen me. I had yep. a lot. I didn't. Ha- I didn't really have to go anywhere when I first moved here because I had so much food like left over, saved For like up. Like two, two and a half weeks, you was good. I had a lot of shit, and I would just. You did not. Yeah. I was like, you need to go to the grocery store. No. And I, I did like once in a while because you know I didn't want to eat. I didn't want to like run through all my shit, but I just didn't want to go out. Be prepared, man. Like as much as you can. Or uh, 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 what's that called? A shortwave radio, which I have. I got to get some batteries for it. Flashlights, all that stuff, because that shit went down in a millisecond to me. Like, it went from a normal yeah. day to all my friends and families fucked. And that just makes you think, like, you know, it can happen to you. Yep. So please, please be prepared. And the, the crazy part is that uh, you you let me know yesterday about Larry. And I was like... Yeah, I'd Whoa. seen Larry was coming, so I thought this was Larry, but it was Ida. Yeah. And people thought Ida was supposed to come last week. But I really? hit us later. Really? I didn't yeah, know it was supposed remember, to hit us at all. Remember the lady from, because one of the ladies from the church. Uh, she oh, was yeah, about yeah, 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 yeah. She was. Yeah, she was. And she said she went down to New York City. And oh, it was, okay. And it was predicted that it was going to be that week she went down to the city to visit. But she was like, oh, it was great. It was fine. It was nothing happening. And then she was like, nothing happened. It was not, no big deal. And then she. It was a big deal for somebody later this week. Yeah. So thoughts and prayers and be prepared. Yeah. Is that all you got to say about that? Man, I, I, I just hope that Larry is, doesn't hit them hard. Cause you that's what I was thinking too. Yeah. So I heard um, it was going to the East, East coast. Yeah. So they don't need any more rain than they already got. That's what I, exactly what I'm thinking. Crazy. About. Man. Crazy. We're going to be watching this. Ooh. We're going to be watching this. We're and like I said, if you're big into hurricanes and you want to jump in that, listen to the last episode where I talk about the hurricane chat. Come on by and let's talk some shit in the chat. It's gonna I'll be, be fun. there. It's going to be fun. Speaking of fun, let's talk about this because we haven't talked about this on the show. The mm. crate challenge. Wild. I mean, talk about something that came out of nowhere, okay? All of a sudden, out of nowhere, boom, I see one video of a guy or a woman, I don't even know at this point what the first video I saw was. Somebody walking up a pyramid of milk crates in some neighborhood and busting their ass. Very funny. Okay, all different types of ways people busting their ass. Then another one, another one, another one, another one. So much so that TikTok banned the videos, apparently, because people are getting jacked up. From the crate challenge. I mean, they're falling on their head. They're falling on their ass. They're falling on their ribs. I mean, they they're did falling on their cocks. Boulevard and this with where the stars at. Oh, yeah, LA. they did. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Okay, I did see they did in L.A. Mm-hmm. Right, right, right. So this is a crazy ass. This is the new thing. And I was just thinking the other day. I was somewhere and I was like, I wonder what the next like viral thing's gonna be. Next you day, wanna... boom, crate challenge. I swear. I was like, well, there you go. You what know do you think crazy, about this? Though? This crate challenge was a thing back in the day. I didn't know that. This was old. Before we really had the internet the way we had this, we, they were doing this in Brooklyn, New York, where we used, to, we used to climb up crates and do this all the time and see, no, dead ass. And I was sitting there like, yo, they really brought this back. And I remember seeing everybody go, oh my God, crate challenge. I'm like, this is not new. Did you participate? Do you remember? When I was a kid. So are you, do you think you're, you're well enough to do it? Now, when you have muscle memory, shit. maybe I don't know. You have to pay me to do that now. But you like, wouldn't do the crate challenge? No, not I totally for free. would. Not for free. I totally would. You would have to pay me to do it. I mean, they were doing it in Utica. I'm not going to seek it out, but like, let's say they were doing it in front of my building, I might do it. I definitely might do it. If they do it in the playground over there, I'll probably do it. It's, it's a, I mean, it looks, it, it's a lot, it's some, definitely some jackass shit right up my alley, but yo, yeah, people are getting fucked. Right people are getting jacked up man it's wild the one thing i mean listen it's all fun and games it's cool you want to do it they were doing it on i think 
One of my uh, one of my friends was showing me they were doing it on 14th Street. I mean, if nobody's seen the crate challenge, go look it up. It's like a big, big tall pyramid. I've seen people complete it though. I've seen people complete it while rolling uh, a blunt. I've seen yep. people complete it. I think smoking a hookah. I've seen people. That's some real New York shit right there. <laughs> New York's a, New York is a bread for this. Man, they took down my video on YouTube when I did. A, um, it's right, probably because of because uh, TikTok's doing it too. They don't want that video up. They don't want any type of. Uh, I forgot what term they use, but they don't want any type of like dumb challenge anymore, like Tide Pod stuff. They kind of categorize it with that, and they don't yeah. want that. Mm. So I mean, it looks fun, but here's the thing: there's 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 a few things. What what one thing I don't like is people kicking the crates under people. That is so fucked up. Do They're not do that. It? I've seen like at least two people do the crate challenge. They're moving up. They're there, like, hey, and then somebody will walk up, bing, and just push. Put uh, kick one of the crates on, and then just boom, 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 boom. They just break their backs. I've seen somebody do it to a cop. I've seen somebody do it to a, a lady. I've seen somebody do it to another guy. So at least three people. Somebody went up there on a bike. I don't think they kicked them off, but somebody dead ass went up there on a bike. So that's, yeah, that's crazy. it's getting dangerous out here. So if you're See, gonna do my, the crate challenge, make sure you're not getting kicked. Make sure you watch was, your surroundings. My thing is when I saw little kids fall off of it. Like they, like they oh, let I see that. do it. And I was like, that's yo. dumb. Don't do that. Don't let your kids yo. do that. I watched this little, like she had to be only like maybe one to two years old. Try to do it was try to do a little like one crate thing. And then like busted her face. Yeah. They gave the her like three crates to do. That's <laughs> so stupid. Do not do that. That's ridiculous. Don't let the kids on the crate. Are you retarded. Seriously. That video should be taken down for sure. That's child endangerment. It is. A crate? Are you stupid on a hard floor? Mm-hmm. So be careful about getting kicked and also careful about getting shot. You know that what? six days? Yeah. You know that six days ago, somebody was doing the crate. A bunch of people were out there doing the crate challenge. Next thing you know, this was in, like, this was in Louisiana, I believe. They were doing it. They, everybody was walking up. Next thing you know, pop, 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 pop. Two people got shot. One died and one survived. It was a drive-by during the freaking crate challenge. Can you believe that? Not that I should have expected that. I'm surprised there hasn't been more. Wild. So now you got to worry about people kicking the crate under from you, and then now you got to worry about getting a bullet in the ass. This is getting real dangerous out here. I mean, dude, crate the, challenge one getting Utica, wild. the one in Utica, the dude was like fighting a cop, arguing with a cop. Over some bullshit, because the guy was like, hey, "You can't do your crate challenge thing over here in this area." And he's like, "He told him, dude, he's like, Yo, suck my dick, nigga. You're not even a real cop, fucking nigga." Stupid well, I don't think the cops should shut it down. That's for sure. Let the I'm people like, do what they want. I, if you want to be, if you want to be I dumb, they were just doing it in an area in front of like a stores and stuff. Oh, like maybe that. doing okay, maybe. Like it wasn't like it wasn't like in like a park or anywhere. Like I that. don't think the cop. I think I've seen like one cop try to shut that down. I don't think you should do that. Let people do it. It's in public. Like it's not gonna. Don't. Who are they gonna yeah, sue? If they hurt themselves. Let them hurt themselves. Who are they gonna sue? The yeah. park. Yeah. Facts. They're being dumb on tape. It's not, it's not gonna go anywhere. <laughs> like you know, let let people do what they want to do. Mm-hmm. I think as jackass. As- uh. I think Jackass kind of came out a little too early because they could have incorporated that in the movie. I would have loved to see what they could have done with the crate challenge. They could have had the, uh, there was this one bit they did, one of my favorite Jackass bits, and it was in 3.5. If anybody's Mm -hmm. a big Jackass fan, listen to me right now when I tell you this. Jackass 3.5 is far superior to Jackass 3. If you've never seen it just because you just skipped it or you didn't know about it, go watch Jackass 3.5 for Jackass 4, okay? It's really good. But they do this one bit. I shit you not. It's going to sound like I'm lying. <laughs> they put Steve-O on a beam, a balance beam, right? And they wanted to do this thing where they had him walk the balance beam and they had flaming balls fly next to him. Like where he has to like navigate the, the flaming balls. He has to move and weave and bob and stuff. And it goes from one side to the other. Like there's people on each side and they push the ball to each other. Boom, boom, boom. All flaming balls. So they're doing, they, they get ready to do it, and the owner of the warehouse goes, no, y'all not going to do this unless you put metal sheets on the floor underneath. Now, the problem with that was the metal oh sheets God. were, I think they had coals on the sheets too. So the metal sheets got ridiculously hot for having the coals on them. 
So now Steve-O is balancing over coals that are on seriously scorching hot fucking flames of hell um, steel, whatever. Steel pallets or something. Yeah, yeah. And obviously the guy falls and gets like third degree burns on his body. It's crazy. But the thing is, he falls off the balance beam onto the thing and you can just see he's frying immediately. He fries immediately. But the worst part is you have to get up from that and get off the thing. So now you're, you know, you're trying to get up and you have to walk off of that hot ass metal. It was wild. Y'all got to look that up. So in short, I would have loved to seen what they would have done with the crate challenge. That would have been epic. Oh, I wish they pushed the movie back. I wish they didn't make the movie so fast. And I wish they didn't make the movie without Bam, by the way. Jackass coming out in like a month. Can't wait for that. God, I would have loved to see what they would have done with the Craig Challenge, baby. That would have been sick. I can't even imagine. Steve-O would have killed that. Hey, what up? I'm Steve-O, and I'm doing the Craig Challenge over a bunch of sharks. Ah. I don't know know what they could have done. I don't know what they could have done. But it would have been sick. We're going to go see that. We are going to go see we that. We got to go see that. That's really the next excited. thing. Hopefully he doesn't see that without me. Are you going to go take... Really... I'm not going to see it without you for sure. Okay. That's a buddy okay. movie. You got to bring your buds to see that. <laughs> are you going to take Jay to see uh, Candyman or what? I'm thinking. After that overdraft, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> Listen, tell Jay to pay. Tell nah. Jay to hook you up. I hate when women, my women buy. Listen, things. I had a girl take me to the movies before. I'll never forget. It was so flattering. Yo, it's interesting. I've never really had any woman... Do more than buy socks. Wait. And like that specific? Uh, like, Somebody bought you socks? That was the highest it went? Really? Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Somebody bought like, you socks and that's the highest and like that's the maybe pinnacle like of your once gift. Once in a while, like food. So girls, we never treated you like that. Nah, nah. Wow. I've always been like, I'm, just, I'm so I'm so comfortable with the old fashioned thing because I'm raised like that. I've never generally had it. Like even um even my last relationship when I got like the the place the Xbox and the Switch. Wait, you saying when you like, bought her that? No, I got those as gifts. Yeah. Oh, oh, she bought it for you, your ex. It was yeah. It was she like bought you an credit. Xbox and a Switch. Yeah. That's fucking sick. That never happened to me. Are you are you gonna tell you gonna sit here? This freaking nah, guy, he's going to sit nah. here and say how he got socks. That's the most he got. And he's like, nah. oh, yeah, and I forgot about the Wii and the, and the Xbox. Nah, bro, but you're not understanding. That was, like, all of that stuff right? was, like, guilty presence. What do you mean? What, because she cheated on like, you or something? Just her, just her behavior and stuff. Like, it was never, like, What do you really mean by cheap. guilty presence? It was because it was, like, you could tell, like, I was drifting off and I was distant, so I was, like, not... And it wasn't like, out of love. It was just, like, You're hey, saying she did like, it to, like, get your attention. Yeah, pretty much to keep me... I, because I was, like, hey, just not... Hey, a gift's there. a gift. Yeah, I mean, but, like, a I don't gift. count... Pe- I don't count gifts like that, like, hey, as genuine. Hey, I mean, you gotta genuine count that. gifts. My like, man said hey. a Switch and a freaking Xbox. Listen, somebody needs to buy me an Xbox Series X because I can't play Lawnmower Simulator. So somebody needs yeah. to buy me that. I would love that. You can't complain about that. Somebody bought you an Xbox. That's rude. It's not. A, I'm talking about genuine, not just gifts. Listen. I'm just, I'm, I said How long was that gift. until y'all broke up after that, by the way? Uh, I got that. I got that like. Like. The switch was on my birthday, like weeks after my birthday. And then the Xbox was like. While COVID was happening. When did y'all break up? I don't remember. I don't know. Bro. Well, I just like, wanted I to see. I just wanted to say how I want to see the timeline between when you got that gift to when like you after actually I got broke the up. Xbox. Yeah, how long till you broke up after that? After that, um, I got the Xbox when we got Gears, Gears of War Five. I don't remember. I don't oh, remember. that was like heat, like real pandemic. Like that was like yeah. in the middle of it. Yeah. Oh, okay. So y'all broke up like, like two months after that. Yeah. Something like that? It wasn't far yeah. long after that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Did she buy you Gears 5 too? No, no, everything everything else was me. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. I mean, I remember that part of the relationship, so that might have been a... She's trying to keep you around. Still nice, yeah, though. It's still nice. Listen, that's a lot Whatever. of money to blow. Not really. That's not a lot of money to blow? Not, not really. A, 
a three hundred dollar Xbox, yeah, honestly, two hundred dollar Switch. It, honestly, none of like half the things she's done, I can tell you right now. Like I, like probably like two things. I was like, oh wow, this is you being compassionate. Everything else, hell no, bro. It wasn't compassionate. It was just like Good ulterior motives. Yeah, ulterior. It's like it was manipulative stuff. Just trying to make you think yeah. she cared. Yeah, pretty well, much. Well, listen. I don't care who it is. Get me the Xbox Series X. I don't oh care if you God. have good. I don't care if you got good intentions or not. Send me that shit. Mm-hmm. I don't care. Mm-hmm. You ain't gonna see me complaining about that. Yep. I'll tell you that right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so Justin said you guys were shocked when I when I abruptly left a phone call yesterday or yeah two days. Yeah. In. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> what Thank happened? you, Judd. You're not what here, happened? but you're here. He's like, bro. What the hell was that? We were he, he we're talking and this dude goes, oh, my girl Selena is on. Well, wait, well, 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 set up who? Wait, tell the audience what that was. In case I didn't know what you just said. So me, oh. you, and Justin were on Facetime. It, yeah, it was me, you, and Justin chilling. We were talking about. I don't even remember what we were talking about. I don't remember. That's for sure. And then out of nowhere, this guy goes, oh, shit, Selena Gomez is on. Instagram live. She's live. My girl's live. And he goes, click. And we're like, what the fuck was that? What was that? He goes, I'm like, did he just go to Selena? So I've never unfollowed Selena Gomez. And because you did that, I said, Selena. hold up. J- Judd and me go to Instagram. I start going. To, I'm like, I. Right. He plays it. And all I hear in the background is, oh, my God, his eyeliner is so <laughs> great. And I'm sitting there like, no way he went to go watch Selena Gomez talk about eyeliner. She just so dropped I a say, new Judd, makeup kit, you know. Judd, I'm, I'll be, I'll be right back. And I went to the Instagram live, and then I posted. I started posting in the thing. <laughs> did you? I didn't see it. I didn't see and it. You know, like gritty. I can buy that for you right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because the thing was when you watched the live, you could buy it right there. That's yeah. smart. I never seen nothing like that. I didn't see that. You can I open the shop and that. buy it in the live. We gotta you do that for Justin shirts. We should. It's crazy. And and then uh right after that, then I started saying, Hey Gritty, she said something about her eyelashes being like Yeah, she did, 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 did she had thin eyelashes. I remember that. I what know was the phrasing of that? I don't know. It was like, just, some, was it, well, it was like a shit. lady was doing her makeup and she was like, Oh, you know, Selena has this type of eyelash, which is a thinner eyelash. And I was just like, oh, I remember that. Got to remember yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So I go, Gritty, what's your type of eyelashes? <laughs> and I, I was just fucking with you in the um, thing. And I was just praying that you would see one of my comments. It was just. I did not see any of your comments, actually. That was great. Because she had like 30,000 people in the live. Oh, so, man. you know, I didn't see. Oh, guess who just guess who texted me? Stephanie was supposed to be here tonight. Wow. And then she just texted me that she she, she ghosted us before the show. And then now she texted me saying that she was going to be here, but I didn't know she was going to be here. I, t- I called her like it, like, like half an hour before we got on. Mm-hmm. But she would know what the thin eye line, what the thin eyelash thing means. No, I don't even know what that out. is. Well, she's not answering now. Damn it, Stephanie. Damn it. <laughs> so yeah, now I, we learned something new. That she has thin, I mean, I watched that for probably 10 minutes. And then, my, and then my and then my mom called, huh? It was only ten minutes. No, I watched it for ten minutes because I I was there for when they did all her makeup, and then they did a Q and A. Well, that I wasn't was there for- longer than ten minutes. <laughs> was Yo, bro. how do you know? How do you know? I was there. How long I was did you there stay? I was fucking with you. I you wish I would have seen it. I would have screenshotted them. <laughs> I was there. Judd, because I remember it, Judd played it. I heard a little bit of Judd, and then I went in there. And when I went in there, it What did was, Judd say? He was, oh, my fucking God. This guy right here. This fucking guy. And I was like, yo, this dude is wild. Like, he's like, really? 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 Got to watch the I was like, I was like, this, this guy. Got to watch. But you know what? What? I'm supporting my woman. If Zendaya was to get on live and like do her nail That's right. polish, you would like, watch yo, it. Honestly, I would watch it. You so, would watch I it. I mean, like if that girl was like taking a shit, I don't. Okay, no, 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 no. I'm not watching that. 
That's the uh, one thing I'll tell you right now. I ain't I watching say I Selena. See her shit. I said if she was like on the toilet, just you'd watch that. There, talking, I would watch it. I do not second that at all. I you would not watch Selena, watch Selena, Selena, Selena take a shit with her panties at her at her knees. Not on the toilet, like just taking sitting. a shit. Like she, you can't see the shit, but her hands is like full in front of her. And she's just uh, talking to the camera. No, you because then I know her, something. I know. I know. Her. Eventually, it's, it's gonna, something's gonna come out, and then I'm gonna hear. It. I don't want to be any part of that. That's <laughs> private. That's very oh, private good. stuff. I don't know. I'm maybe. not into scat stuff. Mm. And nobody can. Nobody can put me onto that. Is it scat? Yeah, because, I, I mean, know, kind guys. of. Is it really? You're scat? not gonna see I mean, it, but you, you know. Who's been in the on the phone? Well, the girl's taking a shit. No, nah, pissing like Dre. Oh well, oh well. Okay, all right. If you're telling me a girl peeing, I'm fine with that. I don't have a problem with girl peeing. But I've been on the phone with girls peeing anyway. all the time. Yeah, but uh, shitting. I, if I know she's shitting, I'm not gonna want to be there. What if you just don't know? If I don't know, then I don't know. You are telling me if I open the live and Selena's just sitting on the toilet? Yes. I'd, I'd have morbid curiosity and I'd stay. If the title was "I'm taking a shit," I wouldn't. I wouldn't stay. <laughs> If I knew that was coming, I wouldn't. I wouldn't indulge that. I would leave immediately. Baby. I would not want that. I'll, I'll watch Selena Gomez do a cooking show. I will watch Selena Gomez as a fucking race car driver. I will watch Selena Gomez be a, a junkyard hunter, a fucking storage wars. I will watch her be a bounty hunter. I am not watching her take a that, shit. That's funny. Selena Gomez bounty hunter. That's the new show. You also don't like feet, so if she was doing anything. Well, feet, let me tell you something right now. Like, I'll give her a pass. I give yeah. Selena a pass. Selena. Selena. That's how they say it. That's how they said it on the live. That's how yeah, she said it. I think it. that lady was like Italian, from Italy or something. Selena. She looks like, like, she, oh, looks like Selena. she was from like Paris or some shit like that. So now I've been saying she's Selena. She's pretty though. Like I've never like that white woman and I'm not going to like say more than this, but she kind of was like a little attracted to me and I still don't know why. She attracted, attracted to you? She was attractive. Oh, I'm about to say, how do you know she was attracted to you? I don't, I didn't say that. Oh, no, I <laughs> thought you said that. I was going to say, that's some very interesting mental difficulties if you thought she was seeing you through the phone. <laughs> you didn't go get that evaluated. You thought know, she was at seeing that you. Point, issues. Yeah, so I've been saying Selena all day. Selena. Selena. I like the way you say it. I like how she said it. Selena. Selena. I might start saying it like that. Selena. Yeah, you're going to annoy the fuck out of me. Selena. You know, Selena got a new show on Hulu and I've been hearing about it and I've been, I just watched the trailer today. I've seen it. Like I've it's heard like a talk show thing, right? No, it's like a murder show. The oh, exact the murder opposite. mystery thing with, um, with Martin's fucking score. Martin short. Yeah. And Steve Martin. No, Steve Martin and somebody <laughs> else. Martin Scorsese. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know who it is, but I watched the full trailer today because I'm like, let me, let me watch this because I, I've been wanting to watch some stuff. How was it? It looked all right, but you know that I'm not a show guy. Like You're I don't not. watch shows. But you did watch a cooking show. I watched a cooking show because I was that I liked it a lot. But see, but mm-hmm. the, the, here's the thing, right? It's not a. It's not a. Sh- her cooking show is not a show to where you have to follow a thread the whole show, right? Oh my where God. where where the story is. It's an overarching story, and there's like you know lead up, and there's you know at the end, it's all one big story. I like shows that are like The Office, where it's a different. A whole different vibe every episode. A whole different story. With that being said, though. So you like shows like The Office that basically... It's a new a, thing every a, time. There, there's like three stories. There's like there's the there's like the main story. Yeah. Because in The Office, it was always a yeah, no, story. There's, yeah, there's main there stories. Like the, uh, you know, the B-plot story with yes. Power Boy. Then it was like him as a manager going through his yeah, yeah, shit. Well, yeah, that was, oh, even then, like that was a very loose. It wasn't very... There was like some yeah. episodes that they'd be like two episodes that would be one story, but yeah. it was always just the office and what happens in the office. And that's how I like Selena's show. There was always a new chef. She was doing something, a new dish. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I like variety I in my show. I With that, that being said, though, I kind of like the trailer more than I thought. It's okay, called well, Only Murders in the Building or in this building, one of those two. Only mm-hmm. Murders in the Building. And it's like, there's a murder in the building, Selena, and Martin, what's his name? Martin Scorsese? Uh, the guy with the white hair. Steve Martin and his boy, they are like, hey, Selena, you want to go solve a murder with her? She's like, yeah, I guess so. That's pretty much how it starts. Like, that's the, I'm not even making that up. That's how it starts. 
And then they go, they have a podcast where they're trying to solve the murder while they're doing the podcast, which I thought that was cool. And it's, that's very different. Okay. Yeah. So I, I'm, I'm planning on watching it. Here's the, here's the thing I don't like though. This pisses me off a lot. This gets me heated. When the freaking streaming service thinks they're a television station and they put out the show episodically each week. I don't like hey. streaming. That's not why I came to a streaming service. Yeah, Hulu been doing that for like five years, bro. Just drop it in one fucking drop, like how um, HBO did her cooking show, mm-hmm. or how a lot of other shows went down uh, when they did Jailbirds on Netflix. I or Cheer. It was one yeah. freaking dump of episodes. So now I don't like commitment. I don't want to commit oh. to weeks. Oh, I want to commit to the night. So do what you do with every other TV show in the world. Just wait until it's done. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. That's a good idea. I need somebody's. <laughs> I need somebody's He's, Hulu password. This dude too. does it all the time, so it's like doesn't really fucking matter. Like something like that for me. Like I, I, I. If it, I really like something, like if they did that with like a, a Marvel show, I would lose my fucking mind. If they put it out one week at a time, which they did. But they started they that. Did. I was gonna say. Yeah, they which they did, and I didn't watch it. Which one was that? Falcon. They did. They did. Uh, Falcon. They did the. Uh, um. The Winter Soldier and Falcons, um, and then they did the uh, Vision, Wonder Vision, oh. and they did it with Star Wars too. They did it with Wonder Vision, right? What about that new show, the the show where they're like in alternate universes or something? I actually have not checked that out yet. Uh, Justin's watching that. Is he? Justin, I'm gonna check it and out. I think Drake I even, too. I didn't even know it came out. Yeah, they're gonna talk about it on the YouTube channel, I believe. They have plans. Hmm. They have big plans Ooh. for that. Justin Ooh. and Dre. Really? Yeah. So I mean, you maybe want to get in on that. I might have to get on that. Yeah, you might yeah, have to watch not, that. Just forget about me. Yeah, watch that and then see. Yeah. And I'll do my review of Selena Selena's new show. Yeah, if you even tried. Can we just get a Selena network where she just does every kind of show? Oh my God! What How about we just get she, Selena Indiana Plus? Selena. <laughs> yeah, we'll get Selena Plus where she does a cooking show. She does a, a bounty hunter show. She does a lawn mowing show. She does um like an auction show where she goes into different storage units and then. Find stuff and then auctions it off. She could do a uh, what other kind of shows are there? You got any other ideas? I, I mean, she go in space. She could be Indiana Jones. I, I don't mean, know if I'd watch a space. I mean, I'd watch it. Yeah, I'd watch it go to space for sure. If Jeff Bezos, watch, if Jeff Bezos could do it, why can't she do it? Well, yeah, I'd watch Selena. Selena goes to yeah. space. Yeah, she could. She can. Um, she can learn how to. Uh, Break down, you know, build houses. With she a, could do like that Cardi B thing where Cardi B has that show on Facebook where she just tries anything. She's like, oh, I'm a race car driver today. Ha! And then she'll be a race car driver. You ever seen that? <laughs> no, I'm, I forget. I saw trailers of that and I just like, huh? Tuned it and out. I just like let it go. I just let it go. Shout out to Cardi B it. from the Bronx, Shout but I have not Cardi watched B. that show because I am not a big fan of Facebook, even though I still have Instagram. I don't like Facebook. Yeah. Fick Facebook. Even though I yeah. got even though I got IG, I can't let that go right now. I'm too um, I'm too involved. Listen, if there's something bigger and better that comes out, um, that beats we'll see. Instagram, I'm, I'll be on it. We'll see, and we'll see about Selena Plus. I'm gonna write the managers about that. I think she could. I, think, I would buy. I'd, that's the only streaming service I would definitely have. Listen, I want dis. I want a. I want a program where all the old Disney stars. Or just living their life as adults. You know who has a good Disney... Speaking of Disney, you know who has a mm-hmm. good YouTube channel? Remember that girl from Even Stevens? Wait, Christy which one Romano? The, the sister. The sister? Yes. The little girl? Even Stevens, the sister. Well, she was the bigger sister in the show. You don't remember that? What was her I'm name? Ren? I'm going to have to go back and look. But remember, yeah. Remember her name? Ren? Was I don't name? remember the name. I remember, I remember the faces. I don't remember the name. Because, you know... Look, I'm going to show you her right now. Yeah, Christy Carlson Romano. Okay. Yeah, okay. This chick. Look at her. Oh, yeah. She has a great YouTube channel. Really? Like, she's dropping bombs on there. She's talking about financial literacy or financial fluency, I think, because she had a bunch of money from Even Stevens and stuff, and then she just wasted a lot of it. She's talking about that. She's talking about how she used to get bullied back in the day. I mean, she's she and then she's dropping a lot of like interesting videos. Of, aside from out. like cooking and, and like, you know, YouTube, like fun stuff like that. She's dropping like bombs about trauma and money and wow. old stories about, you know, like like yeah, stage moms and stuff. I mean, she's hitting it hard. I, I feel I watched like three of her videos. I got it. You got it. She did this link. whole video about her and Shia LaBeouf's 
relationship that I thought was going to be whack. Okay. I was, I just clicked the video. She was like, do I talk to Shia LaBeouf? And I'm like, this is going to be total clickbait. I think she's going to be like, oh yeah. Like, you know, I saw him at like, you know, I saw it saddle ranch the other day. Like we don't really don't talk because he's kind of crazy. Ha <laughs> And that was actually a way more involved answer than I even thought. Nah, she was, was talking about sure. how she thought that she was a bigger influence on him. But then he, she, then he turned out to be that like he, he showed that she wasn't. She thought they had more of a brother sister relationship, kind of, and then he kind of showed that it wasn't. I mean, she like she thought they had more of a bond, and they didn't. There's wow. a whole, there's a whole video. I'm, I'm not summing the video up well at all. That was a horrible, I gotta check this horrible out. review of that video. Great video mm. though. Mm. So just because you said that, you should watch Christy Carlson Romano's YouTube channel. That's crazy. She's out there meditating. Out. She's out there in the fucking woods oh, dropping I gems. Already. I love it already. I was like, damn. You gotta love yourself. You gotta do this and that. I'm like, okay, Christy, that's what I'm talking about. Love yourself. Talk about all kind of stuff. You go, girl. You gotta watch that shit. Hmm. Hmm. You like that? Yeah, no, I'm definitely down to uh, watch it. You know, so listen. I like I like knowing about the old Disney stars and what they up to. Listen, I mean, Britney, Britney and her sister are just wild. Oh, forget that. It's, that's a. I'm not even getting to that on this show. <laughs> forget that. Let's throw that out right. That's a whole. That's a whole right. thing. Let's let it go. Let's let it go. <laughs> Only fans hit the it re- reverse card on their move, and yeah. now they're taking back what they said. They're they're keeping the adult content. What do you yep, think they about were that? Able to find a bank. What do you think about that? Um, for me personally, I'm upset at the uh, the 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 decision a little bit, but I'm to also, take it back. Yeah. Why? Here's here's the thing. I I don't like the culture that the OnlyFans is, is building personally. So you know you know how I get down. You know what type of supporter I am. You know, I'm into uh, the the. I, don't, I like only fans. The masculine, the uh, the manosphere community and red pill content. So you know, I personally, as a man, don't really fuck with only fan. I don't think that is necessary, and I think that is a waste of time for a lot of men, and um, it, it it destroys a lot of the relationship building and that the what a lot of guys. I I personally see online and in person how like only fans is making certain people act. Um, well, because they're making they're self sufficient. You're saying off that? Nah, it, it's it's not even a self sufficient. It's like you got you got some women like there are. So here's the positive thing about um, OnlyFans, right? You got some women who are really doing it as a business, right? Say for the sexual portion work, right? And Sex even work. not, even some chicks are just showing like bikini pics and, and that, like bra and panties pics. They're not doing yeah, like crazy stuff. So I mean, not. good for them. And uh, but for the ladies, just stick it to the sexual content because that's what it was about. Right. It wasn't about bikinis and none of that stuff. For only the sexual content, um, there's a lot of women that really give out some good production, right? And if right. you understand that you're like, you, this is a business and everything else like that, and you, you, you know, one lady, I, I forgot, she was on a Phil DeFranco show and she was talking about it. And she actually has like a whole team. Like she hires people. Yep. I've seen to do that. the makeup yep. and all yep. of that. So yep. when you, if you're somebody like that, I really respect your hustle. Why do you? Like, okay, let me ask you a question, right? Mm-hmm. Why would you? Do you respect somebody like that? That just because she's employing somebody. Well, this is what, how I took what you just said, right? Mm-hmm. You respect somebody that has a bigger business and they're employing people over somebody who is just doing it on their own. Yeah. Why? And, and, and it's it's more of the mind frame, a mindset. Of okay, the but check this out, right? Out. What if? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What if, I mean, we're saying, what if that one person putting out that content is putting out enough valuable content to just do it by themselves? Why would they need to hire somebody if they don't have to? Just because they hire people, yeah, they're a boss and they're giving people money and they're making other people's lives better. But just because they're doing it solo, that doesn't really necessarily mean it's better. So the problem is with a lot of the people that, you know, because I watch other um, content where a lot of the, the women from OnlyFans, big OnlyFans come in and uh, they talk about their lives and their money and stuff like that. And if you hear a lot of the women like who, who are just independent and they're just doing it for the money issue, like the way they talk about men, the way they approach, even if it's just like, it's it's like, 
it's no different like from like the scam like you know, uh 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 the fucking fake coaches dating coaches you know what i'm saying in a way like people are just like Oh, you know, I know you like my body and you're, you know, you're paying for my body, but it's like, they're not they're like, they're kind of like, just not really taking it serious other than like, this is the hot moment right now. And as long as I'm doing it, and like, they're like, I'm going to be the hottest shit and blah, 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 blah. There's no like real plan behind it. You know what I'm saying? But what if the content um, is still good? But there's the problem. These are the same people. Like, there's always a new chick, right? Right. So that these chicks are always being. Replaced. I'm sure a lot of the ones you're talking about don't have that great content. No, they have great content. A lot of the women I'm talking about were making one like so what's 60 the problem? grand a month. The problem is for me personally, as a man, I don't support that. But like, you don't if support, you okay. support that. I I'm don't just like saying, it. why would you not? As long as somebody is giving value to somebody else. What does it matter that they're employing other people to give that value? Oh, because it's different, right? It's different. When you actually, I'm looking at it as a business standpoint. Like if you're going to do this thing, right. And you're saying, okay, I am, I am doing this. I'm, I want to sell my body as entertainment, whatever reason for whatever case may be. Right. I am trying to become independent so that I, as a woman, don't have to put, um, have a sucky ass contract with a porn industry because they usually do, right? Okay, right. You don't need to hire people to do that. Yeah, you can work so, on your own. If you wanna, if you want to get to a certain level where you're actually stability, you have a stability in your your money. Your content is continually making money. You actually want to do that. But some people don't have to. But I'm saying for the women who actually are trying to level up to that point where their money is making money. I just don't see the. I I just don't see. The point of you criticizing saying, how the cookies are made. As long as the cookies are good, I think you're. I mean, that's and I'm saying I guess and that's a regular basic point. If you're just a guy and you're like, I right, well, I just care about this shit because I just want to see naked bitches. That's, that's what OnlyFans is about. That's fine, right? That's perfectly fine, and that's not only what OnlyFans is about. But well, that's well, that's why they got in so much trouble because they want they would like to be more than that, but they ain't. Who would like to be more than Only that? Only fans would like to be more than that, but they're not. They're synonymous with porn already. You're fucked. Yeah, yeah, that's a fact. They, You're done. They, try, they, they, they brought, yeah, they brought, they try to bring in some celebrities. You they, are done, they, pretty much. Yep, you are already, they, they are. that's like yeah. Chatterbait going, we're going to clean this up and now we're going to do family friendly live. It's like, your I mean, yeah. shit is tainted already, dude. I mean, I believe, what did, how much did he say? They made like what? Billion, like a billion off that. Two bill, yeah, two billion last year. What are you stupid? To to give all that up so you can have chefs? Well, it wasn't even their fault. They they had to give. They were trying to give. They couldn't get any banks to cover. You to know, cover the, like, them some financial. Yeah, like to to because like certain banks don't, don't allow you to put that money. In yeah, they them. yeah. Some people don't. Some people don't. Uh, I've they're seen like woo. They see that. They see that receipt. They're like, like I don't think PayPal you? is with that. If I'm not mistaken, I don't think I've ever seen a PayPal that lets you do that. I might be mistaken though. PayPal do what? I don't think like, I don't know if PayPal associates with porn. Oh no, I don't believe so. They don't. They don't. No, I don't think I've don't, ever I've used seen, PayPal. I've never seen PayPal as an option when yeah. you try to like go to websites mm -hmm. and stuff like that. They don't. Send so them. PayPal is yeah, definitely so a lot one of, of those. banks are like, "Yo, stay away from us with that." Mm -hmm. And luckily, they were able to find one. I don't know if it's in the country or not, but like they were able to find. Yeah, because at the end of the day, money talks. Money. Yeah, money talks. You're gonna find somebody. I, my argument the last time was there's tons of other porn in there's tons of other porn companies out there doing it big and making money before OnlyFans was even thought of. You're gonna be mm -hmm. fine. You don't need to be a bitch about it. Yeah. You already made like whether you that's what you set out to do or not, like you're already entrenched in that. Honestly, it's gonna though, be very no, I, hard I, to I remove say yourself. What I said. I'm gonna take something back because I do remember myself like how I really felt in in the beginning when I first heard it, and I was like, you know what? I do feel like y'all betraying y'all like your content creators. That's like me. And this this is before I started YouTube, and now I'm like feeling like now I under, honestly understand like how it could feel for the platform that you're using to turn it back on you like that. That's like any and, one of us yeah. making it big and then dumping the rest of us and then cleaning yeah, up trash. our content. That's like if I made it big and then I go and I'm like I, I disassociate with all of y'all and then I just get a, mo a morning show. And I act like I, like this shit never happened. <laughs> like, oh no, I'm a totally family friendly guy. 
Like I'm I mean, the I'm, one that most likely will be the family friendly guy. But not that I couldn't time, do that. I'm just saying, but at the like, same time, I would never just not let y'all know. Yeah, <laughs> like, not saying that I couldn't off. do that, but you wouldn't betray. Like you wouldn't no, disown. No, I would at least let y'all know. And if I needed some things cleaned up, I'll pay y'all for it. Like, I, like yo, we can't let that. That was the more. only. I mean, that's that's what everybody was pissed about. So they yeah. they reneged. They hit the reverse a little bit because they were about to lose a shitload of money. By the way. Yeah, there's no way. There's no uh, way they were going to be even close to the revenue. Apparently, there's other sites like OnlyFans. Yeah, there's a lot. That I I don't know those names though. Like I'm, I I know I've many vids. Of, That's the only one. I think many what, vids. Many vids. Many vids. Like M A N Y. I think. Uh. That's the only one I've seen because I've seen on Chatterbait you get a link to that. Like some people will be like, check out my many vids, which I like better because you just buy straight up videos. You don't subscribe to nobody. Mmm. You don't got to subscribe to them. That's the only thing I don't like about OnlyFans. You got to subscribe to people. I don't be subscribing to people like that. Mm. I'll just buy shit outright if I want it. Like a video. I'll just buy the video. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm not okay. staying with nobody for no fucking money. Wait, you can do customs on that site too? No, not customs. Like, let's say I like, so some people have free OnlyFans, right? You can follow it yeah. for free. Some people, yeah. but a lot of them, the, 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 the system is you don't follow for free. You follow for a, for a price and you also buy in in that in, once you're in there you also buy other videos while you're there but you're paying on top of it but some people have free only fans where you follow it and then you buy the videos or pictures or whatever you want while you're following it so you're not paying that first price mm-hmm. you're not paying that whole month just to, to have access to buy the videos yeah i'm not gonna pay to have access to buy videos mm. you know what i'm saying yeah pay to just still pay yeah, yeah. i mean listen sense. if somebody my thing is i don't care what it is if somebody makes something good, somebody makes something that's gonna entertain me, I'll buy it. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. I'm not you. buying no like no regular shit, but you know, if something's that good that I like it, I'll fucking buy it. I no matter you. what it is. I feel you. So I mean I'm not I, I can't talk shit too, because I was so close to doing OnlyFans. So mm-hmm. that is that's you were gonna be an you were gonna start making your own OnlyFans. Making I your own really content. was gonna do it OnlyFans. Like I, I was still so close. I had, my, I had my social security card, my license and everything. Y'all like y'all really don't you know on. how close yeah. I was. <laughs> so what is your you think it was what is your final verdict on them reading? I think that uh, I'm I'm glad <laughs> I wouldn't do it, but like for the business and as content create as a content creator, I think that um OnlyFans made the right decision by um reversing and well not really reversing that they found a the bank. Reversed. Well they, they reversed. I mean they couldn't I mean they yo, it's it's hard. I understand like people don't understand it, but like you need funding and you need to put that money somewhere and you can't keep There's no way busy. I can believe it's that hard if Porn companies is, have been surviving it's for this really long. Hard. If, it's really hard. It's hard. You companies have been surviving for this long, way before we had all this access to the internet when it was still kind of new. They mm-hmm. were People have been making boatloads of money off porn online. Facts. There's but no think, way it was that hard for OnlyFans. I can't but fathom I think, that. I, I believe that there were other methods for their who they put money at. And maybe it was in different, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you you gotta have you there's licenses. I don't know all the details for all of that. Yeah, we can right. research that one day, but I probably they, won't. it was definitely hard enough for them to do it because they, they were struggling. And it's this has happened to businesses. No, no. There are a lot of business um porn sites that get up there and fall because they can't find um talk the right. to Bang Bros. They gotta go to Bang Bros. Talk to them. They've been around for like thousand a thousand years since like BC. Oh since I can't even think. Okay, so they should have uh, had a meeting with Bang Bros. Personally don't really care for it. It is what it is. I don't like really fuck with OnlyFans. Um, fuck I with it sometimes. I hate the site. I hate the app, the site itself. You know. Put on dark mode. You're good. You're good. Man, that shit suck. Good. Didn't have a browser at the time. That was stupid. Didn't have a category section. That was stupid. Yeah, you had to know who to go to to get like, your stuff. Like, dude, I'm not trying to go to my Twitter and and and. You had a hard time because you didn't yeah. know any. I already knew people that was doing it. Yeah, not yeah. that I knew them personally, but I just had known people that were that were on it. Yeah, it was wild. And then when I would like find a, a, like a decent girl, I would find comments, and then they were like, "She's not really posting anything." I'm like, "That's the thing. That's the thing. If you pay for somebody to post, you're basically you know you're at the mercy of their their feed. There, you have everything that they put up prior to you paying for it, but then you gotta see what they put up new. And if they don't post, you're wasting your money. So. And then we had a our one of our old high school friends. 
his friend. You you know. Oh who about. yeah, we did yeah, know somebody Mr. that was I doing. I don't want to show you. What, Mister? I don't want to show you. Who said that? Uh, you know what? When he went to your house. I don't remember this, Mister. I, 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 I my 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 bracelet pop. Oh yeah 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 yeah. We okay. We did know somebody that was doing OnlyFans. Okay, that's true. That's true. <laughs> okay, and she was whack, right? Yeah, that, was that was whack. the thing. That's what you were trying to say. That she was, she was whack, right? It was whack, and then she also put it on the hub anyway. Yeah. So what's the point? Yeah. What's like, the point? But listen, congratulations to everybody that was that was you know thinking that they were gonna lose a lot of money. That thought they were gonna lose their platform because OnlyFans was was shutting down their their stuff. Congratulations to you. The uh, all that's gonna go on. All the porn's gonna be fine. Everybody's gonna be fine for you now. To doggy dog girl. For now. Well, we'll talk about that. We're not gonna talk about that right now. Anyway, but this is a good this is a good lesson to be prepared no matter what, cause shit could go down. That shit can happen again. Well, if mm-hmm. you're on a platform, they could shut you down. You know, yep. so be prepared and have your shit together. You can find me at it's gritty bitch on Instagram and Twitter. Go to Gritty World on YouTube. Search it up in one word and see all my stuff, all my vlogs and this and that. I haven't posted in a while, but I'm going to start posting. Make sure to the, you go to the Gritty Knows Best YouTube channel. Type that in one word. The Gritty Knows Best Instagram. Type that in Instagram one word. See what we got going on. Mo, take it away. What's good? You can find me on Mo's Great Adventure uh, on Instagram and on in that link in my bio. You can also go see my channel on the board on youtube that's right go to his instagram and see the picture of him looking like mr fucking rogers and comment on mr rogers picture comment <laughs> on the picture of momo rogers there i think you that's go. it i think that's all we got is there anything yes, left sir. to say have we said it all we love you guys be safe out there man yeah. um, much love to yo. much love to louisiana we didn't forget about you just because new york is in For the real. shit much For love real. to louisiana much love to anybody affected by the hurricanes have a safe hurricane season because this this just started. Yeah. Oh, for va- facts. It, this, this just is started. The yeah. So everybody, please be safe. Listen. Shit, dude. We love you. We Thanks love for you. hanging out with us. Peace and love. See you next time.